Things have been pretty calm for me the last couple of days. Being here in the south part of the state, major change in energy just going a couple hours away from Alamosa. In fact, there's a number of videos I never uploaded. I was in too much pain. I actually just deleted them. You know, but I remember the experience, and I'm constantly reminded of the, uh, the differences in energy, as I can feel the shifts in energy when I travel to different places. So I'm not focused on doing a lot of videos this week. I'm actually doing something that I've wanted to do for some time, and that is launch a whole new website that is news only, that is not there necessarily to promote my videos or my YouTube channel. It's just news that I find on the web that I consider to be a top story, adding the sources, adding the hyperlinks, putting it all in one space. And uh, I'll reach more people doing something without having my name stamped on it. So uh, with the help of a friend, uh, the template has been decided upon and I'm gonna be populating the website with news and information. And when it's ready to go, I'll let you know. While I'm here, I'm taking this time to uh, get caught up on a few things, one of which is rest and working away, working on staying away from stress, smoking, things like that, drinking, uh, neither activities I'm very fond of, but I do at times fall into the habit of smoking cigarettes, especially when I'm in urban environments. In fact, <laughs> there's been times where I've been in, in nature or that time that I was in Idaho, you know, I stopped smoking basically within a day leaving Portland. As soon as I'm in Boise, as soon as I was back in an urban environment, I was smoking cigarettes again. I appreciate those that have tried to offer helpful suggestions like uh, nick -a crack gum or uh, whatever it's called. I don't believe that that's a very good solution, especially if you already got a week under your belt. You don't want to fall back to putting nicotine in your system. Um, I'm a pretty sensitive person, as I mentioned before, so some of us that haven't yet fully mastered how to really deal with all these energies that we're feeling, uh, when we're in human form on planets like Earth, sometimes sensitive beings turn to cigarettes, turn down the sensitivity. What we really need to learn how to do is not turn down certain things, but really learn how to work with our energies and, uh, hold our own ground, if you will, without using chemicals or anything else to uh, mask certain feelings. But because I am sensitive, you know, there's a lot of different reasons why I have uh, moved on from Portland and still adjusting to a higher altitude, but now I'm actually down to about 6,000 some odd feet. I'm not too far from New Mexico. Uh, things are pretty quiet. I have access to internet and a few other basic things at the moment. Not sure how long I'll be at this location. Maybe a few days, maybe a few weeks. But uh, just want to let people know that things are going pretty good. Uh, working on the website, taking some time off, getting some rest, making sure I'm eating, even though, you know, still there's some days where I don't eat till noon. <coughs> but uh, working to get caught up on stuff and I really don't know what is the end destination for me, whether it's off the grid or going to another city. <sighs> Haven't uh, worked that out yet. Some of you may recognize that mount over there. Most won't, a few will. Urban versus rural environments and their influence upon creativity were all different. And I certainly felt like I had a lot more to say when I was in the city because I'm more sensitive to some of the things going on there, especially when I'm in Portland, especially since it's a place I know very well. When I'm, when I'm out here and I'm only dealing with so many people, uh, it's different. It's also a different part of the planet. So I take the time to uh, charge up my energy, if you will, because cities can really be draining, especially when we're in reactive mode emotionally and things going on around us. It's good to not be so reactive, 
doesn't mean you could just move from somewhere and all your problems will be gone, but altering your environment may be a factor in a much larger wheel of influence. And our environments can really play a pretty big role in our uh, psychology. So, I notice how when I'm in the, the city, I got a lot more to vlog about, but I'm also, I'm also under a lot more stress. There's a lot more stuff I held back from actually sharing with you. And my goal is, after a period of rest, to actually be more active than ever uh, once I really acclimate to a more rural lifestyle. I'm not saying that I'll never be in a major city again. In fact, there are some experiences that are worth having in some of America's largest cities, especially if you have a, a group of like minds that are working together on a common mission. I don't know of a whole lot of great examples of things that I'm really interested in being a part of in any collective in any major city today. But for example, if there was a genuine alternative media team of peers that I knew there was mutual respect and there weren't any mysterious donors funding the operation for their own special interests. If it was something genuinely organic and successful with real reporters or, or quality independent journalists, I'd be all for it. But uh, I have made the decision that I need to go my own way as an independent with my website multiple websites at one point actually covering different things one for my own videos and one for news and just continuing to hone in on my own abilities and talents uh, to uh, find news of relevance share them with you and all all the rest that goes with what it is that I do as an individual there's a lot more that I have yet to um, master in terms of communicating certain ideas. And right now, at this stage of my life, that's more important than being a part of any collective or being accepted in any society. <clears throat> that's why I'm on this mission. A lot of things that drive me, a lot of things that interest me, don't interest other people and they find it strange. So it's normal for people like me to walk on the independent path. Anyways, it was good to talk to you on this early Saturday morning. Want to let everybody know that I'm okay. And I'm thinking about the future. And I'm using it upon my next step. Which could come in either a few days or a few weeks. In the meantime, I am uh, looking forward to launching a website that I'll announce at a later point in time. Talk to you soon.